Hi, welcome back to Forensic Education Series. I'm Mike McCutcheon. Today we're going to use a small particle reagent. We're going to use a product called wet print. The small particle reagent is going to allow us to develop fingerprints on wet surfaces. This is fantastic if you're on a scene and you have a product that is submerged in water or a stolen car that's out in the rain or even today we're going to use a window and you can pretend that this window was outside and it's raining outside and you still want it to develop your fingerprints. Not only are we going to develop fingerprints that are wet, we're going to lift fingerprints that are wet. There's no need to wait for them to dry and I'm going to show you a technique to do that. So what I have set up today is I have a window that may have some fingerprints on it. We're going to use our wet print to try to develop the prints, then we're going to use our tape to lift the prints. I also have set up some uh, cups that have been submerged in water, and we're also going to try to develop them with the wet print. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is put on gloves. You wouldn't want to use this stuff inside because it's very messy. Okay, so I have my gloves on. I'm ready to start processing. Now you can use the wet print on dry objects as well. If you have already super glue fumed an object and then you used a dye stain and you didn't get fingerprints, you can then try to use the wet print. But today we're going to focus on fingerprints as if they were outside and they're wet. So you're going to find the bottle that has the one on it. And you need to make sure that you shake it because the particles that are in the, the wet print are heavier than the liquid, so you have to make sure that you're shaking it throughout. So we're going to start at the top. Now it's important that you start at the top and you let it go down into the fingerprint because you don't want to spray this into your fingerprints because it may disturb your prints. Oh, look at those beauties, they're already coming up fantastic. So I'm going to give that a few minutes to come down into our fingerprints as they develop. Then we're going to take the number two bottle. This, this is just filled with water. We're going to spray that to clean up our fingerprints. Again, it's going to be very important to start at the top and let it flow down. You don't want to spray it into your fingerprints. You're going to disturb those fingerprint ridges. Now we can see here we have beautiful fingerprint ridges on all of these fingerprints. Now normally people would say you have to wait and let these dry before you can lift them. That's not the case. So what I did today is I have some tape that I had already measured just so that we can uh, get going on our lifts. So what we're going to do is take the tape you're going to put it right over, right over your fingerprint. You're going to use a squeegee. Lift your print. I'm going to put this on a white backing. And there we have our fingerprints. Okay, I'm going to lift those other two prints as well with a different tape. I just have a couple different tapes for different thicknesses. So we'll use a thinner tape on this one. It's going to be the same process. You're going to put the tape over your fingerprint. You're going to squeegee it. You're going to lift it. Put it on our white backing card. And again, you have fantastic fingerprint ridges. We didn't let it dry. We were able to lift it without having to let this dry. This would work perfect for evidence um, if there was a can or something like that that has condensation on it and you wanted to process it right away. You can still process it using the wet print. Now, we're going to come over here to some items that I've had submerged in the water. They're just a couple cups. Okay, so these have been submerged in, in the water. I'm going to take our wet print, make sure it's the number one.
Now this is going to be a little more difficult to let roll down onto our print just because it's such a small object. I'm going to let that flow down. Then we're going to rinse it with our water. Oh, gorgeous. Look at those prints. Now you can see up here plenty of fingerprint ridges all on the top of this cup. Now this cup was completely submerged in the water. We'll have this one again. The same process. Start with number one. I'm going to rinse it. Again, beautiful print. Now we lifted the prints off the window because it was a nice flat surface and we were able to put the tape on and squeegee it right off and then put it on our backing. For something like this that has a rounded surface, you're not going to be able to use that tape because you won't be able to squeegee it off because it's such a small object. So this you would have to photograph, let dry, photograph, and then lift it a traditional way using a regular tape, a hinge lifter, or, or something like that. Well, that's it for my demonstration on the small particle reagent. Um, I hope I made the myth that you need to let this stuff dry to develop it, um, eliminated that, and uh, now I, you can see that even if there's an object that's in water, you can still get good fingerprint ridges. You can get wet print at lynnpv.com, and thank you for joining me, and I hope to see you again.